What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how you can add a multi-line dialer to your high level and I'm going to show you how to make this multi-line dialer work no matter what industry you're working in. I know a lot of you are in real estate, some of you are in insurance, finance, investing, home services. There's so many different industries inside of high level and this is going to work for all of them. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to get it set up. I'll show you how to do automations that work with the dialer so that you can really streamline your prospecting. Stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go to the custom dispositions. This is the most important part about Wave and High Level and how they work together. So we're gonna go to the agency dashboard and down here in the corner, you're gonna click on Wave Admin and that's gonna open this window. Now, right here, you'll have call dispositions and this is super, super important. This is the coolest part. This is how you're going to really be able to reduce a lot of time spent clicking and doing manual follow-up and all of that. You're gonna use this, okay? So call dispositions, in case you don't know, are, are just like the results of a call. It's what your users are going to see when they hang up, they'll see a little box and it'll show all the different dispositions. And then you can decide what those dispositions are right here. And then you can decide, and this is where it gets really cool, what tag is going to be associated with that disposition. So if your person that is dialing or if you're dialing and they hang up and they want to say, okay, that person, I set an appointment with them, then they can click appointment set and then trigger an automation. So no matter what industry you're in, you kind of want the same thing to happen because of a phone call. So if you're calling someone, you want to have a successful call, meaning you want them to purchase or you want to set an appointment of some kind, or that person is maybe going to say, call me back later. You'll probably get a lot of that. The other thing you might get is, hey, I'm not interested right now, maybe later. And it's like, all right, I'm going to nurture that person until they purchase or opt out in the future, right? Or they're going to be like, do not contact me ever again. And you're going to mark them as do not contact. The other things that could happen is someone could just not answer or you have to leave a voicemail again, not answering, or maybe you hit a bad number. And the cool thing about Wave is that these dispositions right here, the no answer, left voicemail, bad number, these are all automatic dispositions. So you don't have to click any buttons. This tag is just automatically going to be added when this happens on a phone call. But with these other ones, I have it set up. So these are some pretty basic things that I think are going to work no matter what industry. The only one that I think I should change real quick is this one and to just have it say success. And you can see how I just changed that right there. So you can see that these are very, very basic. So no matter what, we're going to be able to use these for different industries. And obviously I know, I'm sure a lot of people are like talking to me through the screen right now, like, no, I want this to happen because of a call and whatever, you can do that. You just add more dispositions and then you can trigger that with an automation. But these are pretty basic and let's go ahead and build an automation that you can use. Okay, so now you wanna just go to a sub account and we're going to go ahead and get some automation set up based on those dispositions that we just added. So I do have some pre-built automations that you can go ahead and snag. That's going to save you quite a bit of time. And you can take that just with the link below. I have a snapshot and I have a masterclass that walks you through all the automations. These automations are a little bit different than what is inside of the snapshot, just because I wanted to try doing something that's even more simplified. So we're going to go through those and um, if you need any more help, then you can go ahead and click the link below. Okay, so I took a screenshot of the dispositions that we set just so I have a quick little spot where we can look at them. And if you remember, we're just going to focus on making things really simple where it's like no matter what industry you're in, if you have success, then you can trigger your automations that you have for that. And if you want to nurture, then you can have that right there. And that's going to work no matter what industry you're dialing in. So as an agency owner, you can go ahead and just apply these automations to everyone. The difference between these automations that we're going to build and the automations that I have in my snapshot is just that appointment set button because a lot of times people are like, well, I'm not setting appointments, so I don't want the automation and whatever. I'm just gonna show you what you can do so that it doesn't trigger an appointment set automation and then you can use it for like a sell or you could still use it for appointment set if you want to. So kind of rambling, let's get into it. So. We're gonna go ahead and go into the opportunities page and I'm gonna show you, this is from the snapshot. We've got this whole system where if new leads come in then they come right here into the pipeline, you can be calling them, you can multi-line dial. And if they don't answer, then we're automatically moving them from category to category until we get to no answer seven. And then if they haven't answered seven times then I just add a reactivate tag and then you can go ahead and try to reactivate that lead just so that you're not calling a bunch of people um, 
a bunch of dead leads, right? Or cold leads. So what we're going to do now is go into the automations and you'll see that some of these automations are already in here. So new lead, if we get a new lead, then we're going to be adding the tag new lead and adding them to our wave calls pipeline. And then if someone doesn't answer or if we leave a voicemail, we've got this set up so that the contact is being moved from spot to spot. Again, I'll let you look at the masterclass for more in-depth explanation of this automation. You can also grab this automation on that link so that you don't need to build all of this. You can just take what I've already got. And then we also have, if someone, if we hit a bad number or if someone isn't interested, we're just removing them from the pipeline. And that's the same as the do not contact thing where we're removing them from the pipeline, but the do not contact is going to mark that DND so you're not talking to them at all in other channels as well. So what we need to do, oh, and then we have this custom field right here, and this makes it so that you can search from the contacts page. You can search when the last wave call was. So let's get into the new automation. So right here, let's say that you want to be able to nurture someone. So you're giving your ISA wave and you want them to just be able to click nurture if they're interested but not wanting to purchase right now. So let's build this automation real quick. Super simple. All we need to do is create workflow and then start from scratch. And I like to say like wave for the name of the automation and then put the name of the disposition. Um, and I always do the dashes. Everyone knows me for my dashes. It's like my signature. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but wave nurture right here. This is the tag. So it's really, really important that we use this exact tag. I'll see people that like put a space at the end. And so it looks like it's the same, but it's not. And then it, the dispositions or the automations don't work. So just make sure it's the exact same. This doesn't have a space at the end or anything. It's just wave dash nurture. So what we're going to do is we're going to make that the trigger. So right here, tag, contact tag. And then I always put what that is, um, wave nurture. Tag added. Okay. Here, tag added. And then we're going to go wave dash nurture. And we're going to add that new tag because we haven't actually used it yet. So got to add it. Hit save. And then when that happens, th what you are going to do now is you're just going to add uh, into a workflow. So add, uh, add to workflow right here. So what you'll want to do right here is if this tag is added, then you're going to want to add the contact into whatever nurture campaign you have in your agency. So you can just take it and then um, find the name of the workflow and add that. And this is why it's really nice because it's very simple. It's just a tag is being added and then you can send that contact anywhere that you want. So if you are doing, I don't know, some marketing stuff for insurance agents and also for real estate agents, then you can create two different snapshots where this tag adds the contact into one uh, workflow. And then for the other industry, the tag adds the contact into the other workflow, if that makes sense. So you are able to use the dialer across different industries and add them to different, add the contacts to different workflows based on um, who your customer is. So right there, that's what you'd want to do. Then you'd want to look over here. So wave success right here, wave dash success we would just create another workflow for that. So right here, we'd go create workflow, create from scratch and name it. Make sure that's the same wave dash success, wave dash success, that's great. So add your trigger, contact tag, tag added, wave dash success. And sorry, I'm super methodical with this because I do not want to have errors. Wave dash success and new tag. Perfect. Save that. Save. So now what you can do is again add to workflow because I know a lot of you already have all of your workflows set up. So you can go ahead and save that. And I don't have something selected, so it's not going to save, but you will have that. Make sure to publish your workflows. 
But this is nice because in some sub accounts, you might have people that are wanting to set appointments. And so then this wave success tag can trigger an appointment automation that reminds people to show up to their appointment. Or some people are just trying to make a sell. And then after they hang up the phone, it's like, okay, I want to add them into my newsletter, or I want to send them an invoice, different things like that. So you can have this be added into that workflow for that sub account. So this just makes it so that the same dispositions, and that's the key thing. And I probably didn't mention this at the beginning, but the key thing is dispositions are on an agency level. They're not on a sub account level yet. So you just want to make sure that the dispositions are going to work for everyone. So keeping it very broad like this is a really good solution so that everyone can be using it in the same system, no matter what industry they're in. And the same thing with wave callback. So what you can do is just create an automation that's like, okay, uh, create workflow. And you can have different things happen based on someone needing a callback. So wave like this. And then again, with the trigger, it's just the tag being added just like that. And tag added. And then here, wave callback. Cool, save that. And then right here, you could have it be whatever you want. So whatever system you have for callbacks right now, just add the contact into that system. Or what you can do is you can keep all of your people that you need to call back later. You can add them to that category in the pipeline that says callback so that you call them back later. Lots of different things that you can do. The whole point of this video is just to show you how versatile Wave is. You can really make it work across industries. You can set it up to be whatever you want to be. You can create whatever kind of automations you want. The whole point is for you to be able to streamline your communications and not ever have to leave your high level account. You never have to have people dialing from two different screens or trying to update different things. You don't, you don't have to set up zaps or anything like that. So I hope that's helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions, go ahead and comment them. You can also email me. Um, you can email wave. I'm super available. We're trying to make this the very, very, very best solution um, for you to be dialing inside of high level. We want all of the feedback. Please feel free to join our Facebook channel. You can also follow us here on YouTube. That's the first time I ever said that in a video, but you can, I always forget. Um, but I remember this time. So yeah, please let us know if you have any feedback, if you have any questions, if you want to go ahead and embed, if you want to grab my automations, you can go ahead and do that. Just click the link below. I hope you have a great day. Good luck inside of high level. I know it can be hard sometimes. I'm in it all day, every day. So you just got to keep at it and you will see success. And yeah, have a great day. See ya.